Four men suffering injuries this morning after being shot near the intersection of South Washington Square and West Elegant Street in downtown Lansing. Lansing police responded to a call about a shooting just after 1.30 a.m. found the four men who had been shot. None of the victims suffering life-threatening injuries. Police also say no arrests have been made. Two mass shootings in the city of Lansing are currently still under investigation, both of them occurring within 24 hours of each other, leaving nine people injured. News 10's Maya Kuznicki is here not in studio to tell us how the community feels about the recent violence in their city. Amaya. Yeah, good evening, David. One of the mass shootings took place downtown on South Washington Square, a place where the community eats and shops. And for some, the shooting hits very close to home. I heard what happened. Uh, I was really I was really taken aback, honestly. CISO lives and works in downtown Lansing, and he was shocked that gunshots were fired in his community. I heard about it this morning from another business owner. Uh, it was unexpected. On Wednesday, right on South Washington Square, four people were left injured after a shooting occurred at a party. This started out with uh, verbal altercations and then into physical altercations, and then the weapons are introduced. 24 hours earlier, Lansing Police Chief Ellery Sosby responded to another mass shooting on Lansing's South Side. They were both uh, large gatherings that started out peaceful parties uh, with alcohol and fireworks. Sosby says gun violence is an issue in the city, and reducing gun crimes has been a focus of his officers. We will be there, and we will find the perpetrators. Uh, we're not going to put up with the gun violence in our community anymore. The fact that it happened a little bit closer to home, um, it's just unfortunate. But people we spoke to say this crime isn't going to stop them from enjoying their city. We want to share life. We want to share love. We want to share community. Uh, we don't like having happenings uh, of this nature in our neighborhood. As of now, there are no suspects in custody, but investigators have identified persons of interest. Again, if you have any information on either of these investigations, you should contact the Lansing Police Department.